How's it going everyone? In the past, I've done videos with my Saab 93 discussing some secret features of the cars. Now Saab owners back then really, really enjoyed that little mini series I did. So I figured now that I have the S3, I wanna go over eight little secret features and little things about the car that uh, I've learned in my short time of ownership. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All of these features should apply to just about any 2015 and newer A3, S3 or RS3. And yes, I'm still waiting on the car to uh, go into the shop to get fixed. For those who don't know, I was filling up on gas and someone with a trailer hit me. First secret feature I wanna talk about here is launch control. So I did a launch control video recently, actually, so I'll just go over it very briefly here. But pretty much what you need to do to get launch control to work is first off, obviously start the car. You wanna make sure it's up to temperature, which mine is not actually. You're gonna make sure the car's in dynamic mode. You can do that by hitting the drive select button here. And you're going to pull down on this to put the transmission in the sport mode. You're going to hold down the traction control button until it fully turns off. After you do that, you're just going to mash the brake, mash the throttle, it'll rev up to about 4,000 RPM. You'll let go of the brake and you're off. The second feature I wanna show here is actually a very nice one, especially if you have a 2017 plus with the technology package, which is uh, the virtual cockpit here, or at least includes the virtual cockpit here. Um, so this screen right here has, you know, a ton of information on it, pretty much anything that you would need. Um, just, you know, anything information wise about the car you can get on the screen. So unless you're using Apple CarPlay, which I use just about all the time, everything that comes on this screen can also come in here. So if you don't want to use this screen, and even if you don't have a virtual cockpit, I mean, you can still put it away, especially on a long drive. There's this button right here. And if you press that, screen goes away. It gives you a much cleaner look on the dashboard. I mean, I already, one of the re reasons I love this car is just how simple this interior is. There's not a ton of buttons. Everything is very like well laid out and everything like that. But when you put this screen away, it just makes it even more simple and kind of minimalist, I guess you could say. Third thing I wanna talk about here is this star button on the steering wheel. This is a button that you can program to do a variety of different things, kind of like a shortcut for some things. So if we come down here um, to this, we can go ahead and go into vehicle. We'll wanna go to, not that, vehicle settings. And if you see steering wheel button, we'll wanna click on that. And then I have it set to change the drive mode. So you can see when I hit the button here, it brings up the drive select mode. So yeah, pretty cool. First next one, we're gonna go ahead, power off the car here and hop on out. Let's say you live in a hot area like I do. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, so it gets really hot here during the summer. It's about 95 today and it's still March. Um, so one thing that you can do, and my 9.3 actually has this as well, and it's a very useful feature is, Let's say you're coming up to the car. I usually crack the windows anyways during summer just to prevent it from becoming a complete furnace inside. But if you hold down the unlock button on the fob, you'll see all the windows roll down. I let go of it, I shouldn't have let go of it. But you, you'll see all the windows go down and you'll see that the sunroof actually also pops open. So pretty cool. Um, one of those things that you know, you're coming out to your car during summer, Doing that even just for like 10 or 15 seconds before you get into the car can really help cool it off and get a little bit of airflow through there. The next secret feature kind of goes hand in hand with this and this is actually doing the opposite, how to get all of this back up. Like let's say that you, uh, you, know, you got out of the car and you realized, oh shoot, I left my windows down, I left my sunroof cracked. So this little pad right here on the door handle, all four doors have it, which is really nice, not just the driver's door. But if you hold this down, you'll see it puts all the windows back up, it closes the sunroof, and of course it obviously also locks the car as well. So now it's back to how it was before. A nice little feature that you don't have to actually get back in the car, turn it back on, and then manually roll up all the windows, just very simple. Number five on this list, and this is actually something I programmed when I was just messing around with the settings right after I got the car, is you'll notice, and I'm not sure if all A3, S3, and RS3s have this, this car has the prestige package, um, so it comes with a lot of extra little things on it, but that is power folding mirrors. So I program these to work every time I lock the car, just so that way I can, you know, 
avoid people hitting my mirrors or it just, you know, it's just a nice little thing to have. So if I put my hand in here, it'll unlock the car. We can come in here. I'll go ahead and start it up real quick. You can see the mirrors are folding out. So now we're back into uh, vehicle settings here. Go into vehicle settings. You can see central locking if I click on that. When I do door unlocking, you can have it to do when you unlock the doors. This is also where you can program the, uh, the uh, to hold down the unlock and to get the windows to open. Um, you can see when I have the doors unlocking or locking, I have the fold mirrors option checked. You can also have it do the little beep. Um, it'll lock automatically when you start driving. That's a nice little feature. I know a lot of Saabs have that as well. But all you need to do is go in here. If you have that option in your A3, S3, or RS3, you can just click the fold mirrors. And then, like I said, let's hop on out. You can shut the door, lock the car, and our mirrors fold in. So we're gonna hop in here. I'm making the car lock and unlock a million times in this video, I feel like. But number seven, I'm actually going to add in here because I just thought of it. So we're actually gonna be doing nine secret features um, on the car, but you'll notice up here You have this little shade cover for the sunroof. So this is something again I wish more cars would have but if I start up the car you uh, you open up the sunroof by pushing back on this button There you can see it opens up so let's say it's a really nice day weather wise out But it's just nice and sunny like this and you don't want that Sun beating down on you so what you can actually do is you can have the sunroof open but you can still close this. So then you're getting that shade still, and this is the most cover that you get. And you'd think, well, that sun probably still beats down on you. And honestly, you don't feel the sun at all. You can see it through the mesh, but it doesn't really get hot at all with the sunroof open or closed. So this is a nice little feature as well. Um, you know, it's a warm day out or it's just super sunny and you wanna have the sunroof open, but you don't want that sun beating down on you works great, I use it a lot. So the eighth secret feature, or we'll say 7B I guess, is uh, the AC auto button. So you can see when I turn the dial, both the temperatures are in sync, which is very nice to have that little feature. But then of course, if I change the passenger wants to adjust their temperature, then they go out of sync. So how do you get them back in sync? The way you can do that is by holding down the auto button. And now you can see they both sync to 78 and I can adjust them both like this as well and it feels AC's feeling really nice on me right now I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's it's warm out I should probably shut my uh, my sunroof I was on my way home I actually thought of another little secret feature I guess so if we start the car here this is only for cars with virtual cockpit so there's actually two different um, screen settings that you can have here so this is the sport one that the normal a3s do not come with this this is only for s3s and rs3s with the big tachometer which i really really like but if you do want to go back to more of the uh, classic layout i think they call it if you go over to the uh the vehicle settings here you'll see you have two different tabs or vehicle information i guess and if you hit this button here you'll see it brings up trip computer lap time statistics and layout so scroll down to layout push in on this little scroll wheel here you can see we have sport layout which is what we're currently in and then we have classic layout so we'll click classic layout and we'll hit yes. You can only do this when the car is stationary. It takes a couple seconds for it to do it. But once it's done, it'll show like this, which honestly, I like this layout too. I pretty much stick to the sport layout exclusively. You can switch between all these just the same, but when you hit view, it comes up with the uh, more uh, classic layout, which is cool as well. Last feature I have for you guys today is relating to the windshield wipers. So this is one thing I don't necessarily like about this car. Um, like when you go to a gas station and you know, you're on a road trip or something, you have bugs all over your windshield, you wanna clean it. Usually when you do that, you wanna do it properly, you'll lift the windshield wipers up, but you'll notice I can't lift the windshield wipers up the whole way like I should be able to. And that's because just the design of them, the hood comes up far enough to where it blocks it. So how do you get that out of the way so you can either, you know, properly clean your windshield or replace the windshield wipers? Well, what you have to do, come in here, you're gonna shut the car off. You've got your windshield wiper stock right here and you need to hold down on that for two to three seconds. And there you go. You see they pop up into their service position. 
Now you come back outside here and you can either replace them, clean the windshield better, you know, pop them up just like that. So yeah, nice little useful feature as well that well, I don't necessarily like that I have to do that to, you know, properly lift up the windshield wipers. At least they made it very easy to uh, to do. So there you have it, guys. That is eight or nine secret features of the Audi S3 A3 RS3. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do own one of these cars and you have other little secret features that I didn't mention in this video, leave them down below in the comments. If you're a Saab guy, let me know which one of these features you'd like to see integrated into a Saab if you could. Um, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Help me reach my goal of 100,000 and I'll see you all next time. Okay.